Hey there, hello, hello, and welcome to Beetle Brad's channel. So glad to have you here. This is great. Today I'm doing something fun. I love doing these portions. It's fantastic collecting vinyl and 45s and CDs and DVDs, but this is what I call Beetle's Collector's Corner. So I'm going to show some collectibles that are really, really cool and very rare too. So we're going to start off with this, which is the Beatles Post Magazine, which was put out here in America. And this is a like a big oversized magazine from the 60s. And this issue is 64. Very nice. And I uh, love the Beatles on the front cover of that. Look at that. They're looking quite smart, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. Love that. So here's some of the inside pictures. Big, big picture of the press. Uh, that's really neat. Look at this. This is really cool. This is a color picture of Hard Day's Night. You don't see that. I hope I'm getting that in. You don't see that too often. But yeah, that's a neat picture. Hard Day's Night. And Beatles and Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. Um, so and then it goes on to some other British group. I think it's The Undertakers, actually, is the one picture. Uh, which they were kind of a big group in, in England and Liverpool and all that, the Undertakers. But, uh, you know, the neat thing is, you know, you got these big full ads in here and these old magazines. And it just, the, the picture of them and the, just the quality and the clarity. And then, okay, this is kind of fun. This is an American, but this is a 64 Mustang. And I just thought I'd show you that for fun. Because my overseas people and other people in the country probably get a kick out of seeing an old um, ad for a car like that. So, but anyway, I'm just kind of thumbing through to see if there's anything else I could really show you that was kind of great interest. Um, yeah, some other ads. Just, just really a great publication. And I've got a few of these. That have beetles on them, but that's that's really nice. Um, next up, I have been collecting these off and on, and maybe you've seen my videos on these, but this is the uh, Corgis that came out, and this is the bus, double-decker bus. Here's what it looks like, and then inside here is a, this comes out, and then this is a little catalog. I won't pull it out, but it slides out this way. And it's a catalog of showing you what's what's all the cars uh, for that time, for the year. But these are really collectible, really like it, very, very nice. And I love to get them with the box because that makes it just a little bit more desirable and collectible. But yeah, there's the bus. But isn't that cool? Yeah, kind of reminds me of the, uh, the bus during uh, the video of Penny Lane that the Beatles did. But yeah, these are these are quite heavy. <laughs> heavy metal, man. <laughs> yeah. So these are really nice. But isn't that just cool? Yeah, I really, I really like that a lot. It's got the Beatles on there. Great looking logo, the Beatles. So yeah, I I I've now got the whole series. So that's kind of neat. Um, the next thing I want to show you is this. This is the Paul McCartney from Russia. And this was an A&E special. And this is not like you'd see the DVD. This isn't the DVD. This is actually something very rare. But this is the Paul McCartney. This is, these are slides. And this whole thing is a, not a DVD of the movie, but it's slides that were photographs that were taking, taken during the show. And these are really nice. And this is a promotional item. So, yeah, that's that's really kind of cool. And I have not seen this. I can hold it up, right? <laughs> I've not seen this before. So that's kind of kind of really cool and rare. Maybe that's my thumbnail. Nice big cheesy grin, right? All right, next up, I'm going to show you this one. This is another Corgi one that I just recently got. This flips up as well, like the other one does, and has a little catalog in here. And these, these were really neat. really like these a lot. 
made by Corgi in England, which I collect Corgis. I've got a lot of Corgis. I've collected Corgis probably since the early 70s. And I have my brother, I have him, an older brother, and I've got his Corgis as well. So I collected his Corgis. Isn't that neat with the newspaper? So yeah, I've got his Corgis because he, he didn't want them. He was moving out. You know, so I ended up getting his. So I've got corgis back from the early 60s. And they're just, they're, they're England's desirable cars. They were made larger than matchboxes, corgis were. And uh, they're really, they're really neat. And there's the, the figure that comes along with that. And I'm not going to take it out of the plastic because I figured oh, I'll keep it a little bit cleaner than, than that. But isn't that neat? So, yeah, I wanted to show you that. That was the next one. So, like I said, I've completed the whole set of the of the Corgis, which is great. Definitely. This next item is a Paul McCartney. This is Liverpool Oratorio. And this is when it came to Ohio. And this is the actual program to the show. That is incredibly rare. I have never seen one of these. And I saw it online, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I really, really like to have this if it doesn't go for stupid money who pays out stupid prices. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, but, you know, it's, it's, it's still, you know, it's a pricey item because it's, it's quite rare. So this, this individual um, that I purchased this from... He and his wife went to go see this. Paul wasn't there. It was, you know, just the, the symphony thing itself. So this was really cool to get this actual program from the Liverpool Oratorio. And as a bonus, since I was buying this from him, he, uh, I dropped it, but I've got the ticket... Here's the, the ticket from the event, and it's still an uncut ticket from when he went with he and his wife. Sorry about that. So here's, if I don't drop it again, my gosh, I got the drops all of a sudden. So here's two tickets to the, to the event, and that's kind of neat. Really kind of cool, kind of rare to actually have the actual tickets to the Liverpool Oratorio, and that was... I can pronounce it right. I don't know if I'm totally pronouncing it correctly, but yeah, not neat. So just a few couple items I wanted to share with you that I recently got, and I hope you enjoyed them, and thank you so very much for watching. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome, 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 and hello to my new subscribers and to my old subscribers. Thank you very much for being a part of Beetle Brad's channel. You guys are awesome, and I thank you so very much for being here. And as I say on my channel... I'm out of here. Take care, everybody. See you on the next video.